3D Rising is in Dedham, Massachusetts, just outside of Boston. And we are at the Noble and Greenhouse School for the spring kickoff event. And we are talking to Matt Rowley, the head coach at Nobles, after their 10-3 win over Xavier and Brothers. Uh, coach, congrats on the win. Just take us through that victory and what was going right for you guys today. Uh, you know, it's been a long week, so just trying to um, push through and, and really finish out the week strong. And, um, you know, those guys, Severian came out flying. It was 2-2 at the end of the first quarter. And then we sort of got dialed in and started shooting the ball well, a little more patience on offense, and um, started flying around a little bit defensively. So uh, just, you know, for us, it was, a, it was a good win against sort of a crosstown rival team we don't see too often. And, uh, you know, we're, re we're really happy with how the week went. And it's a bounce back win. You lost to the Hill Academy yesterday, one of the big premier programs that's here. Uh, just talk a little bit about that contest and what you learned about your team in the Hill. Yeah, that contest was all about sort of learning who we are and who we could be more than than any win or loss. Um, for us to go up against a team of that caliber is just a, a great opportunity for us and a great opportunity for our kids. And uh, we came out and we gave it our best shot. And uh, I think it was 8-4 at the half, and we felt like we were playing pretty good lacrosse. Um, and so, you know, it's. It's, it's a good test for our kids individually and for us as a team, and, and hopefully it's one of those things we can sort of lean on moving forward um, with regards to you know our ability to, to play some pretty good lacrosse against some good players. Uh, we're at the spring kickoff, an event you've organized. Uh, features the Hill Academy, um, IMG Academy, Noble and Greenow, Taft School, uh, a couple other schools. Just talk about the, the mix of programs you were able to pull together here and what you were trying to accomplish with it. Yeah, so you know we get this one week every spring where we're not in class and uh, we're, we're either um, down in Florida or wherever, or we're here on on campus. And you know we happen to be on campus this year and try to give these guys the best lacrosse experience and development that we can um, while they're here. So you know we've done a couple different things. We've gone to upstate New York in the past, and that's been a great thing. But this year I I really wanted to stay home, and and what I really wanted to do was to bring in some teams that we wouldn't see. Uh, if we weren't able to have this time off here and uh, to get schools like Westminster and Taft uh, from New England West and, and certainly to get IMG and the Hill Academy down here to play against uh, Nobles and St. Sebastian's. It's just a great opportunity for our kids, uh, great, great for New England lacrosse and uh, really fun to test ourselves against some great, great teams. You mentioned development. If you can, just talk about your approach to development and what you're doing here at the Noble and Greenhouse School with these guys. Well, I, you know, I feel like my role, as much as it is to win and lose lacrosse games, is to get these guys ready for the next level. So, um, you know, that's why weekends like this happen. Um, we spend a lot of time on player um, skill development, um, lacrosse IQ development, um, a lot of small-sided games, just trying to understand how to play the sport um, more than putting plays in and running all sorts of crazy looks. You know, we're just trying to get guys ready for the next step of their life, you know, whether um, they're going off to play Division One lacrosse or division three lacrosse or going off to play squash or soccer or whatever it is all these experiences are a part of building you know um, the whole student as they move forward in their career uh, lastly coach you know the ISL is increasingly competitive uh, we got to see a little bit of, of that this weekend here just talk about where you want to be by the end of the year in terms of what you need to get better uh, on as a team well, I think we need to clean up. I mean, look, it's, we've had three days of practice, so um, for us this is all just sort of about figuring out who we are. Uh, we know we have a lot of work to do. Um, we aren't very crisp on offense at times. Uh, we don't clear the ball particularly well at times. Um, and defensively, we get uh, we get pulled apart and spread out and don't play great defense at times. So, you know, probably nothing too out of the ordinary for any team at this stage in the season. Um, but I think we've got a lot of talented kids and we're going to work hard. And, we're really excited about the opportunity for the season and we're going to work to put it together by the end so we'll see and coach lastly you know maybe just for some of the coaches and other players out there that don't know that much about the isl maybe just comment on the quality of the league this year uh, from your perspective well the quality of the league is is pretty remarkable um, i started coaching in this league nine years ago and at that time if you had one division one player on your team you were probably in the hunt and considered a favorite to win the league uh, now everybody in this league's got at least one Division One player, and most of them have multiple Division One players. Uh, and the quality of the league has just gone uh, through the roof. So every game's a battle. Every game's a battle, and you're going to see a great player uh, pretty much every Wednesday and every Saturday. So um, it's it's a great competitive league, uh, and we're we're really excited uh, to sort of slog our way through it this year. Well, coach, thanks so much for your time. Congrats on the win today, and good luck the rest of the way. Thanks, Case.